Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles, and I welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll be covering everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll be giving you guys a fresh perspective on things, and I will see them. And this is going to be a very serious episode for me here today, for us here today. So um, I want, before we get into it, make sure you guys are going to like the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you follow us on our socials with Dreamers Pro on Instagram, the same as the channel, and my personal C-T-A-B-A-N-Z, also at Instagram. Anyway, let me get into this topic um, here. For those of you who follow us, you'll see that... Um, I've been going off on the community board on our channel, right? Because of the disgusting coverage <clears throat> that Russell Westbrook is getting primarily from Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless. I have been talking about this for weeks now. And I've been one of the few people out there saying that Skip Bayless is going a little bit too far with the Russell Westbrook criticism. I said it is childish. And I said, I find I, I find it to be disgusting that every single time you're talking about a person is always from a negative angle. It's always from a negative angle 100% of the time. I said that there's something wrong with that type of reporting. And now today I'm going to start coining the phrase. This is cornball reporting. Cornball uh, reporting on sports. That's exactly what it is. Now, just yesterday, uh, there was a Laker game between the, what is it, the Golden State Warriors and the Lakers. Yes. During the halftime show, Charles Barkley, and we touched on this on another show, depending on which order you're seeing these shows. He basically called out the people in the media for basically constantly... Um, criticizing Russell Westbrook and we did a video on, we did it we produced a show on that and I absolutely when I say I went off I absolutely went off and I'm gonna go off some more here in this particular show today I was watching a segment from an undisputed and as you could as you can predict there's going to be another segment of what Russell Westbrook did wrong which I think is disgusting so they played a segment where they were talking about what Charles Barkley had to say and Shannon Sharp decided to respond to what Charles Barkley had to say so before I go too far what we want to do is we want to play what Shannon Sharp had to say in response to Charles Barkley, and then we're going to come back and react to it. So take a listen to that part here. Charles was traded. Mm -hmm. He knows how this works. He went to Phoenix. And if he didn't get them to a championship and win the MVP, they would have said it was a fraud. Ask him how to ask, ask Charles what they said about him in Houston. When he went to team up with Elijah Wan. And I think the last year, maybe Clyde was there, maybe either Clyde was there for one year and had left, or when he teamed up with Scottie Pippen. What they, who got to blame, Charles? They didn't blame Elijah Wan? Mm -mm. You know how this works. Because guess what? The Lakers won a championship before Russ got there. They went to the playoffs before Russ got there. He was brought in as a major piece to take them to that next level again. And then what happened? Yeah, Russ can have fun and joy and, 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 and free will and have a good time and yell and scream. But now you got championship expectations. Not just triple-double expectations. That is a different mentality. You, you better believe it. Absolutely. But this, at the end of the day, Charles Barkley taking a shot at LeBron James. Because so? he, he you, absolutely, because we know how he feels about LeBron. He said every once in a while he'll give him a little credit, a little pat him on the back, but he's always taking a shot at him. And he said, Oh, they blame Russ. Uh, because he said, Well, LeBron wanted him. He quit to holler. LeBron and AD wanted him. Okay, yeah, that happens. You wanted people on your team. They don't get it done. What? That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. He's blaming LeBron for the Lakers. This is the old team, yada, yada, yada. And I get all that. They are. Certain players, LeBron is old. I mean, AD, hell, AD's not even 30 yet, I don't think. If he's probably no. about 28, 29. Yep. They're, they're a fairly young team, with the exception of LeBron, who still play extremely well at his age. But I don't know what all of a sudden that we don't have, uh, have expectations for guys. That's what he was brought. He's the Lakers. If Russ had gone to Orlando, you think anybody would be screaming at Russ or saying anything? If he had gone to somebody, Indiana, nobody got no expectations. No. Nope. That is the Lakers championship. You don't see Pacific Division champs or you don't see runner or uh, uh, West, Western Conference uh, almost champ. That ain't what they had. They hang banners. 17, they hang banners and retired numbers. That's what they hang at the crib now. Used to be stapled or what they hung at the form. Yep. All that other stuff doesn't matter. And so the expectations of what Russ was going to be and what he has delivered has been majorly has been dis a disappointment for Laker Nation and anybody that knows the game of basketball. Mm. So you heard what Shannon Sharp had to say. OK, first of all, let me tell you guys, because I keep saying it and people think, oh, no, this guy, maybe, you know, maybe he's exaggerating. Maybe he's, he's going a little bit too far. This and this and this. This is something I've been. We published, we posted this about, let me see how many hours, about one hour ago, before I saw the show. I said on our community board, I'm just waiting for the day, 
Charles Barkley calls out Skip and Shannon by name this season. They actually just showed four, four Russell Westbrook turnovers in last night's game and not one of LeBron's five turnovers. Mark my words, this will come back and this will backfire on these guys. Cornball reporting. That is exactly what I said in that show. And I don't really give a damn who sees this show, by the way. I don't care. The reason I don't care is because I have my own opinion. And I'm not going to sit up here and dance it up and twerk it up for you guys. I'm telling you what I think, unlike some people out there. I'm, I'm representing an opinion that a lot of people feel. So I have a right to speak. And I'm going to speak on it. Nobody gets to tell who you, you can talk about sports, you can't talk about sports. It don't work like that. It's a free world. Maybe some people are unaware of that, but it's a free world now. First of all, if you listen to what Shannon Sharp had to say, he had absolutely nothing to do with what Charles Barkley had to say. Started talking about Charles Barkley's personal career. He brought up LeBron James and everything. Where did you hear Charles Barkley talk about LeBron James? Where? But you're so busy twerking it up for LeBron that you will do anything. And if it includes tarnishing the name of another player, every single chance you get, just so you don't have to mention anything about LeBron, that's exactly what you're going to do. If y'all going to sit up there and show the, the four turnovers, that Russell Westbrook had. Why didn't you show the five turnovers that LeBron James had? Why didn't you do that? In your expert reporting, why did you mention nothing about their defense? Why didn't you go into depth, depth about that? Why y'all sitting there talking about Russell Westbrook? Why? Why? Why is it always about him? Why are you talking about Charles Barkley's career? What does that have to do with the argument? What does it have to do with the argument? You're defending LeBron. Who attacked him? You're defending him. Who attacked him? You talk, You just said the other day, you're all about being fair, uh, fair and balanced. How are you being fair and, fair and balanced when you're only pointing at the one thing this guy is doing wrong, but you never, you never mentioned it about your own favorite player? How are you being fair and balanced? And the only fans that support this type of garbage uh, 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 coverage of sports are those fans that will go to a, an actual sporting event and probably throw something at a player. They're the only, you got to be obnoxious as a sports fan to defend this type of nonsense. No one is saying Russell Westbrook had a perfect uh, uh, fitting, uh, uh, fits perfectly with, perfectly with the Lakers. Nobody said that. No one says he doesn't have his low moments. Nobody's saying that. But every single bit of coverage is always something negative, and you jokers got the nerve to put up a highlight reel of this guy having four turnovers, but you didn't show LeBron. How are you being fair? How? And they'd be the first ones to start talking about, oh, LeBron is being treated like this. The hate the league. What about the hate you're giving Russell Westbrook? Let's get to that. Let's get to that. You sitting up there crying about the hate this guy get. What about the hate you dish out? You never talk this much about Russell Westbrook ever in your career. But the only reason now you're talking about him is because he plays with LeBron. He's been like this his whole career, according to you guys. So why all of a sudden now? Because it's affecting your favorite player. It's disgusting. And it's one of the reasons you're beginning to see NBA players calling this garbage out. This is not reporting. They are picking on the guy. And what they're doing is they're creating an environment for fans who are not savvy enough to understand what the hell that they're seeing that they begin to feel in themselves. Oh, when they see their favorite team, in this case, the Lakers lose, they automatically think Russell Westbrook. That's the first thought that comes to their mind. Nobody says, go look at the box score. Nobody says, let's go look at, let's, let's go into the deep, uh, the advanced analytics and let's actually look at what's taking place on the court. Nobody does that. Nobody wants to talk about the fact that Lakers got outscored last season by an average of six points per game. You think Russell Westbrook is the cause of that? You think he is? The day he got injured when he came off the bench, he played five minutes in that game and they lost by damn near 40. Nobody said a mumbling word. But instead, what do they do? They want to sit up here and talk about, oh, he did this, he did that. Look at him stepping out of bounds. When LeBron has a turnover, you don't say a mumbling word. But when Russell Westbrook has a turnover, it's a demoralizing turn. What the hell is a demoralizing turnover? I've never seen a demoralizing turnover on a box score. I see turnover. I blame you guys for this. You guys are the one causing this. The reason Skip does it is because he's obnoxious. He cannot help himself. He can't. 
He just has to dig at the guy. And the only reason Shannon is doing because he, he's a LeBron. That's all. And you saw it in his comments when he said he doesn't like uh, LeBron. Where did you hear Charles Barkley mention LeBron James' name and all of that? Where? Charles Barkley has gone at LeBron, but he's also given him credit. But you guys are so sensitive. All of you guys, you're so sensitive that you pick and choose what you want to. You so busy twerking. You won't lower the music so you can't even hear what Charles Barkley said when he says positive thing. What did he say about LeBron yesterday before the show, before the game? It's remarkable. He's had the best career in the history of sport. You didn't hear none of that. Because to you, if he's not saying something positive 100% of the time, you call him a hater. Y'all are ridiculous. Y'all are corn balls when it, comes to, when it comes to this Russell Westbrook stuff. I don't care who sees it. Y'all are not doing anybody any favor. That's why the NBA community is calling you jokers out. That's why they are. If Kevin Durant calls it toxic, what you going to do? Oh, what does Kevin Durant want since he left uh, Steph? That's all you do. You can never address the point. I don't care who sees this. I don't care if Shannon Sharp says I don't care. There's a limit. There is a limit. You guys are overdoing it. And for the simple fact that you guys started off that show today and you had the nerve to show his turnovers. Meanwhile, he shot 58% from the field, which led the team. And you didn't even mention that. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. And you, tr you better mark my words. This thing, if they don't stop, is going to pick up, it's going to, it's going to pick up momentum. If they don't stop, these guys are not covering sports. They're covering up for LeBron. That's all you're doing. You're not saying anything innovative. What kind of analysis is that? You watch the game, they lose by 14 points, and you sit up there talking about what Russell Westbrook did. They need to trade him. Uh, they need to trade him. They need to trade him. I pray that they trade Russell Westbrook and still watch this team lose. That's what I'm praying for. Catch you guys on the next episode.